It's relieved to have this seven-game losing streak end. You heard us, we talked with uh, Michael, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie talked with Michael Grady afterwards, and you could tell. They, he didn't just say, oh, it was, we weren't thinking about it. <laughs> we, no, he was like, no, we had to end this losing streak. And, uh, Sarah, what you like is how they learned from what they did wrong in the first half and really made adjustments in the second half that got them to win. I do want to clarify one thing that Spencer Dinwiddie said. Michael Grady, both of his sides are good sides. <laughs> yes. He doesn't need to be on just one side. But to your point, that's... That's exactly what you want to see out of a team. And you could tell there was an extra level of focus, a intensity and a purpose that they came locked in from the start of games. However, we have seen that during the losing streak. It's about what they did after the half. It's about how they closed out that fourth quarter. And to be able to go up against this Miami team and Miami defense and take care of the basketball, not put them on the free throw line, continue to be so stout in what they did, whether they were in man or zone, the communication pattern, um, all of that I think was just just so impressive in, in particular you can look at different numbers in what made the difference but you brought up effort plays the fact that their nets had 23 second chance points that is all about just making multiple effort plays and taking advantage and it was just overall impressive top to bottom the fact they had six players in double figures but everyone had an imprint everyone made a comp contribution in a different way that contributed to this win yeah considering the nets were minus temple minus wilson yep. chandler yep. tonight you saw john and moose make a huge play where he went into the crowd to save a ball that led to the Luau Cabarro three. Two guys getting an opportunity yeah. there. And then Joe Harris with a big offensive rebound late in the game. And the net starters, especially Spencer Dinwiddie. The starters had been taking some hits lately, and Dinwiddie played an incredibly efficient game, something he hasn't done in a while. He's the real deal. And that's a sign of a, a true great players that you can show a sense of resiliency when maybe you have been in a rough stretch. Maybe you haven't been playing the way you wanted to. The fact that he did take ownership, not that it the yeah. way you look at it, he but put it on his shoulders that after Oklahoma the Thunder City loss yeah. of missing a free throw and um, how things finished down the stretch to come out and play in this manner. And I, I too, I think, you give him so much credit because we've talked about this throughout the course of when he's taken over in the starting point guard role, just the understanding of decision making, when to attack, when to be assertive, when to get downhill and get his own, and also when to distribute and, and find his teammates. And I think he just he did an excellent job of that throughout the night and also Karis LeVert and just the boost that he gave. And, and we and keep going down the list but even guys that weren't having great shooting nights they were still doing some of the little things that yeah. made such a difference there down the stretch hard to look at the numbers to tell the story of this yep. game yep. because the nets allow over 50 percent shooting but they got timely stops right they turned it over 10 times but none in the second half uh the three point shooting only 34 percent but they finally made some big threes when they needed them and a lot of times what we talk about those little things don't show up on the stat sheet that was evident here tonight and that's why they broke the loop 100 percent and i think even to the the little things the fact that miami comes in here is the the second most efficient three-point shooting team and they hold them to 24 percent as we talked about down the stretch they forced the players and the personnel they wanted taking some of those shots and so i think overall for this team and for kenny atkinson he and his staff and these players should be feel really good about yeah. the way that they stuck together they executed the game plan we saw the continued communication between the bench and between those on the floor and even, you know, listening and watching Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, how active and engaged they were with everyone. Um, it, it was a collective team effort, and that includes more just than the guys that were wearing the jerseys. That was everyone involved. Coming in with a seven-game losing streak, shorthanded against one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference, the Nets, defeat the Heat 117-113. to 113, And we'll